When I first came to Australia, I drove here on my international driving license for almost three months, and then I went for my driving test. I vividly remember the day that I went for my driving test. I was extremely nervous, but I managed to pass my test on the first go. Back then, I relied on the support from my driving instructor and also my friends who had done it before. But over years of working with the students from different walks of life, different ages, and various backgrounds, I gathered a collection of solutions to tackle this challenge. And today, I'm going to share them all with you. Just to make you feel better about your nervousness for the test, let me tell you this, that almost everybody gets nervous for the driving test. You are not alone. Get plenty of rest and eat healthy foods. If you have enough rest, you will be fresh on the test day. And also avoid caffeine because caffeine increases your heart rate and makes you more nervous on the test day. Try to do some exercise the day before your test. Exercise boosts your mood, sharpens your memory and gives you a positive self-image. It also helps you release stress and have a good night's sleep. Arrange a warm-up driving lesson. If you have been taking driving lessons, your driving instructor knows about all your weak points and the things that you need to keep in mind for your driving test. So if you have a warm-up lesson before your driving test, your driving instructor is going to remind you of all those stuff that you need to keep in mind. And hopefully your driving instructor will cheer you up and boost your confidence for the test. Plan ahead. Make sure you double check the exact date and time of your driving test so you don't rush it for your test. Make sure you know exactly where your driving test center is and how long it takes for you to get to the test center. It's a good idea to go to the test center at least 20 minutes before your driving test so you know exactly where to park your car for the driving test and also do the checking. Wear comfortable clothing. You don't want to wear a formal uncomfortable dress that possibly limits your movements. Wear something modest and comfortable. Keep your test a secret. So maybe just talk about it with your close family members who you know are going to support you and boost your confidence. You can then reveal the news when you pass the driving test. If you're anxious around too many cars, make sure you don't book your test on traffic peak hours. During traffic peak hours, obviously there are more cars on the road and you come across a lot of giveaway situations. Also, the other cars might be in hurry and tailgate you and put pressure on you and make you do something that you are not supposed to do. Talk to your examiner before your test. Try to engage in small talks before your test and if you are nervous, you can tell them about that as well. They usually assure you that everything is going to be okay. If English is your second language and you're not confident in your listening skills, bring that up and they are more articulate when giving instructions. Avoid chatting with the examiner during your driving test. If you cannot concentrate on your driving while talking, just avoid chatting with your examiner during your driving test. Do commentary driving during your test. Commentary driving is when you verbalize all the traffic signs and traffic situations that you come across and mentioning what you are going to do about them. For example, I see a school zone sign here, so I make sure my speed doesn't go over 39. Now I see the traffic light is red, so I gradually slow down and prepare to stop and so on. You can talk about all the traffic situations that you come across and the examiners don't mind that. The effectiveness of this technique varies from person to person though, but many students like this technique as it helps them to stay focused. Give it a go next time you drive and see if it works for you. Do a breathing exercise. Anytime you feel overwhelmed during your driving test, you can do a breathing exercise. This will help you calm your nerves and reduce your anxiety. You can even do that while driving. Take a few deep breaths and trust that you will be fine. Avoid negative thoughts. Don't overthink your driving test and avoid negative thoughts about you messing up and failing your test. Your mind is very powerful and makes you feel the exact same way you think. So just think positive about your driving test and you start to feel more relaxed and in control. Quite a few students mentioned that they did meditation before their driving test and that it helped them a lot. So you can give it a try. Accept making mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes and that's how we learn anything. And remember that not all mistakes are critical and make you fail a test. For example, if you touch the curb while doing a reverse parallel parking maneuver, you won't fail the test. So if you make a mistake, don't dwell on them and focus on the rest of the test. Don't panic if you see examiners scribble something on the test report sheet. You might see the examiners write down something on the test report sheet during your driving test. Don't try to sneakily look at them and don't panic. It doesn't mean that you have made a mistake. The examiners are ticking their own boxes and checklists. For example, if they take you to a roundabout, they tick the roundabout box 
on the test report sheet. If you take your car for the driving test, make sure your car is in a good working condition. The examiners are going to check if your car registration is up to date and also if your car is suitable for driving. So just make sure that your car is in a good working condition. Have some herbal tea or eat a banana. Herbal teas or decaffeinated teas like chamomile tea are proven to help with anxiety. Also bananas, they say, are full of vitamin B which will help you to calm the nerves. Don't listen to horrific driving test stories. If any of your family members or friends have failed the driving test before, it doesn't mean that you are going to fail too. They are them, you are you. Everyone is different. Go at your own pace. Let's make this clear. This is not a car race and it's not a competition of who can make a reverse parking faster. Take your time, especially when doing the maneuvers and focus on doing them properly and safely. Know and learn about the test procedure. The fear of unknown is a real thing in psychology. When we don't know what we are going to experience, we come up with a lot of scary stories in our head and that makes us panic. You can see this video, which is a footage of a real driving test and see if it's a big deal. Think of it as a driving lesson. Were you scared when you were doing a driving lesson with your driving instructor? Well, I hope not. Think of the driving examiner as your driving instructor who is giving you instructions during a driving lesson and hopefully it eases the tension. Use the bathroom before the test. More than 50% of the students feel the need to use the bathroom right before the driving test. This is a natural reaction of our bodies to a perceived threat. When we get anxious, our muscles get very tense. The tension puts pressure on our bladder, which makes us feel we need to urinate more than we normally would. So use the bathroom so you know that you are 100% ready to tackle the test. Stop worrying unnecessarily. Don't make up stories. Mark Twain once said, I've had a lot of worries in my life, most of which never happened. A lot of the worries that you have and a lot of the stories that you make up in your head about the driving test are not true. I've had many students that were scared of driving on highway for example. That they told me that they can never drive on such a high speed, that they can never imagine doing that, that they will have a heart attack if they go to highway. But still we went to highway. And guess what? None of them ended in hospital. They all were excited after experiencing driving on highway and they realized that that wasn't a big deal. A lot of students say the exact same words after the driving test. Ah, that wasn't a big deal. Ask others who have passed the test for advice. We have a private Facebook group gathering all the learner drivers from all over Australia together to brainstorm their ideas and bring up their questions. Someone in the group asked how he can get over his fear and nervousness for the driving test. And Chia provided an interesting answer to this person's question. Just imagine that you need to take the instructor home and he or she will tell you how to get to her or his house. That's what I did to overcome my fear of test. I loved this answer and I've been telling all my students to think that way. So thank you, Chia. Don't create a monster image from the driving examiners in your head. Examiners are normal human beings like you and I. In some test centers, the examiners are normal staff who work in the test center and just some days they do the driving tests as well. One student once said she is not comfortable being in the car with a stranger. To get over this fear, maybe catch a taxi or Uber a few times to go to places to get used to being in the car with a stranger or take some driving lessons. Drive around the test center. Familiarizing yourself with the location that your driving test is at is going to help you a lot on your driving test day. You can watch the videos of different driving schools driving around the test center that you are doing your test at and also do the actual drive around those areas on your own or with your supervisor. Sometimes some road markings are faded, the intersections are not symmetrical and have funny shapes, there are some sharp bends around or the traffic signs are not visible. If you drive in those kind of situations before your test, you know exactly what's coming up in your driving test. Don't get caught up in the spotlight effect. In psychology, there is this theory which is called the spotlight effect. And it states that people think that they are in the center of the attention and that everyone is watching them and judging them, whereas that's not the case. Everyone is worried about themselves and not you. When you go for the driving test, don't think that the driving examiners are going to notice how you have dressed, how you talk or where you are from. Also, don't think that everyone in your family, circle of friends, or customers at the test center are going to judge you. 
They all have their own worries and don't even care how you go with your driving test. Make sure you are ready. This is a very obvious one, yet many people don't follow this advice. When you have doubts about some traffic rules, you will be worried that the examiners might take you to the exact same traffic situations, so you get a lot more nervous. For example, if you are not confident with driving on highway, don't go for the test until you feel at ease when driving on highway. If you have a driving instructor, trust them. Driving instructors know exactly what's required in the test and they see how you drive. If you are up to the standards, they definitely let you know about this and they tell you to book your driving test. And if you are not ready, they tell you not to book your test. If they tell you that you are not ready for the test and you book your test, you will be nervous. Think of the worst case scenario. What's the worst case scenario that can happen? That's right. You don't pass the test. We don't even want to think about that. But if that happens, that's not the end of the world. In 2013, I attended T. Harv Eker seminar in Brisbane. And what I learned in that seminar changed my mindset completely about the word fail. T. Harv Eker says, you don't fail, but learn a lesson. And if you think that way, you don't feel pressured when you have any kinds of tests. For example, if you can't pass your test first time because of not speeding up to merge to highway, you learn this lesson that when merging to the highway, you need to speed up. So try whatever that resonates with you out of this bunch of solutions that I mentioned and hopefully you don't feel as nervous when you go for your driving test.